Hi, I'm Kevin Tracy of ktracy.com, and I royally messed up today's unboxing and installation video. So bad was it messed up that after 20 hours of trying to edit it into something watchable, I had to just give up and figured I'd tell you about this week's product instead. The 30-foot HDX self-retracting 16-gauge extension cord with triple tap, which I got from the Home Depot for $32.96 plus Indiana sales tax from the Home Depot. I think I said that already. Anyways, the series... <laughs> Seriously, though, I pride myself on hilariously terrible product review videos, and this was so bad it was barely one step above YouTube poop. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and check out my more entertaining product reviews, art videos, and other fun stuff. This video was not sponsored by the Home Depot or their HDX brand. I feel like I have to say that for reasons. So anyways, this box was not particularly well packaged. It was actually opening entirely by itself, even in the store. I mean, seriously, people, scotch tape is not that expensive. However, nothing was missing from the box. In the box, there were two pages of instructions, one in English and one in Spanish. The reel with the extension cord and bracket already installed and placed in it were placed in a bubble wrap bag. A mounting bracket for mounting this to your wall or ceiling was included, as well as two screws to attach the mounting bracket to a wall stud or ceiling joist, and a pin and ring to secure these two brackets together. The biggest problem with this reel is that the cord from the reel to the socket is only about 18 inches long. This means that you have to install this guy within about 12 inches of your outlet. However, the instructions say you can install it within two feet of the outlet, and that's just terrible advice seeing as how you'll never get it plugged in from that far away. The only other installation problem I had besides that was with the screws. Even with drilling the holes into the joist before screwing these in, the screws still managed to strip incredibly easily. I got one in tight, but the other one is still loose, and for what I'm doing, it's fine. I'm not hanging from it, or you know, I don't have any pet monkeys that would hang from it. But this is just what happens when you use cheap Chinese metals for screws. You're probably better off using your own screws for this if you have them. The ring that goes into the pin also gave me some trouble. I mean, there was no flex to this thing at all, and there's no reason for it to be that rigid. I ended up needing to use a screwdriver to pry it open and slide it into the hole. Aside from that, though, I mean, this thing does exactly what it's supposed to do. The reel is not constantly pulling the cord back. If you pull it out, it does lock in place. And then getting it to retract is kind of like getting your horizontal window blinds to go down. You just have to pull the cord in just the right way. And it's finicky, but it works. I'll provide a link to homedepot.com where you can find the HDX self-retracting extension cord. You'll notice it only has about three stars, though. However, if you look at the reviews, almost all of the bad reviews deal with the short 18-inch extension cord. And yeah, I'd be pretty pissed if I installed this thing two feet away from my garage door outlet, like the instructions said, only to find out it only has an 18-inch range. But the short cord was the first thing I noticed when I pulled this thing out of the bubble wrap. There's a reason why manufacturers put warning labels on soap. Let's just put it that way. Anyway, at $32.96 for a 30-foot extension cord on an automatically retracting reel, the HDX self-retractable 16-gauge extension cord is a great deal, and you can't go wrong using one of these to get an extension cord off the floor, which is what I got it for. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and catch my future videos. In my next video, my wife is going to be using this HDX self-retractable 16-gauge extension cord to shave my head as we raise money and awareness for childhood cancer research with the St. Baldrick's Foundation. And she's going to be using a razor plugged into the extension cord. She's not going to be shaving my head with the extension cord. That would just be weird and impossible, I think. Anyways, I'm going to be at C2E2 on Saturday, so if you're going to be there, bring your copies of the MS Paint comic and keep your eye out for a bald 6'6 six six ogre walking around. I'll have a pen on me and I'll be signing things for free, but feel free to just to say hi, too, if you don't have anything. And don't worry, I gave up biting people for Lent. That won't be a problem this year. Thanks for watching and have a great week.